Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Big win in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. So they gain three yards on the play and pick up the first down. Good look there from the quarterback. Dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at about the 31. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Can't get away from the pressure. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Powell awaits the snap. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. The Nittany Lions offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle. Tackled around the 19-yard line. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. converts the extra point. A four-play, 49-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Hey, 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 hey. 
second and 14. Ball on the 21. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. He sails it long. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Hayton back deep to return. Hayton takes it to 36. Brought down at the 42. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll bring him down at the 50. Penn State is up seven. Drives to set up the screen for the wide receiver. Tackle at the 43-yard line. The quarterback dumped it off, and everyone did a good job of blocking up front. Doesn't get much better than that. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. Arnold comes away with five yards on the carry. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. So the designed quarterback run goes for about three yards on the play. This safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. From the 15-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. They'll give it off here. The 10, the 5, and that sets them up for the first and goal. Five wide. Touchdown, Penn State. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 57-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now... 14-0. Penn State's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. The back gets three on the carry. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. That's some daylight. Gets out to around the 38. First 
He's going to try and scramble. And they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From their own 38-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Savage gains around three yards on the run. it to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at about the 41. And the screen pass goes nowhere. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Powell is waiting for the snap. The 30. The Nittany Lions really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. So at the end of one quarter, the Nittany Lions in front, 14-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Big opening. He's at midfield. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. From the 33 yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. to the end zone. Leaps picked off. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. Three down, three down. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Down around the 33 yard line. Gets to around the 42. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gains his way to midfield. 
makes it first and ten. ten. Let's go one more. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Ah, green eight. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 22. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Scrambling around, and they got him. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 23 yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Steps up in the pocket. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's going to go for the home run. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And the receiver shows us why he's considered one of the fastest on the team. You know, you often hear the term deceptive speed and how certain players have it. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing deceptive about this guy's speed. He can flat out fly. Fires it out. The Nittany Lions will use their first time out of the half. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. They're down now, and they need to get it to the 17. catch but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this and as i see this play again it really looks like he made the correct call on the field after review of the play the ruling on the field stands 
So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. From the 14-yard line, first Watch down. The Watch the run. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Go! Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Aggies come into today's game ranked number one in the country. And for Texas A&M, they're supposed to win this one. And they've gone out in front. Texas A&M leads it 23-17. A three-touchdown difference here, Reese, 21 to nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Penn State, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. When the defense plays well, it can rub off on their offensive teammates, and that's partially what's happened. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Nebraska will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here we go. Throws incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Throws on a run, and he's got his wide receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. It's first and ten. Ball on the seventh. the middle for a nice game we've played a half of football here the Nittany Lions with a three touchdown advantage all right Reese and David welcome back everybody just about set to start the second half he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 he's taken down at the 26 yard line So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Not 
a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 26. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They hand it off. He's to the 40. And they finally push him out at the 47. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Tackles him for a loss. They come out in a five wide set. They'll bring him down at about the 39 yard line. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. So they're going to go for it here. That's what I do. Mike 41, Mike 41. Tailback brought down for a loss. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. scramble he has some room he lost the ball the defense scoops it he's tackled around the 45 yard line i'll tell you when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball you can pretty much forget about it you're not getting the ball back from him so they're just about set to get the game going again at the 31. He's at the 20, and he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Ten. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. Short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Penn State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Taken down at the 42. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 42.
Good protection, and now he's on the run. Williams gains around three yards on the scramble. This freshman does a good job of reading and reacting to the play from his spot in the secondary, and he makes a good tackle. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 45. With the pass, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Hayton is back deep to return. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. Penn State comes to the line in complete control in this game. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Defense wins championships, baby. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Go! Watch it, go! Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Lee to punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. the 44. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. Howell is waiting for the snap. Oh man, he took him down hard. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Penn State comes to the line, holding that commanding lead. Here's a counter to the right. Nice gain as he works the right side. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Man, watch out here. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Five 
five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. The screen is good for four. You got to love the screen pass. Pretty good blocking in front, and it netted some decent yards. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. They come out on an empty backfield. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. That's three down and one to go. The Nittany Lions are up big. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I pray. Penn State up big. Gets out to around the 25. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 15. This is the eighth play of this drive. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. Right now. Another give, and he's going to be wrestled down for a loss. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires a laser touchdown. He's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wolfpack came into the game ranked 18th and knowing they could prove a point and move higher in the rankings. And for FSU, they've now dropped three in a row. The Wolfpack take the game. 31-24. Thanks, Reese. Well, this one's not even close. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Fumble, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. And he's tackled at the 27. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. quickly and he's got his man they'll bring him down at the 41 it's our time it's our time hey check my 46 now he tries to buy some time he decides to run with it he's tackled at the 50 It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's got the junior. 
Tackle at the 32-yard line. Number 25. First down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and ten. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Green and young. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 14-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Let's go, D. That's a great tackle at the two. Second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. This is the 11th play of this drive. two-yard line so from a yard out the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal Let's go. dunce it out left to the running back loose football they fall on it anytime a running back loses the football it puts a little bit more caution in his step You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow them down. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our play. Just over a minute left. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. Just a minute remains in this football game. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Well, one team showed up strong today. The other team, unfortunately, didn't show up at all. Penn State, 35. Nebraska, nothing. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, it's not the outcome they had hoped for, but it's the one they had feared. Nebraska was completely dominated by this overpowering defense. They couldn't pass, they couldn't run, and most importantly, they couldn't score. Brad, they were simply overmatched.
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.